I took a little time off. I spent time with the family over the holidays and just kind of basically took a break from making videos. But now the holidays are over, so I'm going to get back on it. What I've got with me today is a little bit of a, a prelude to my, you might say, to what's to come. Finally solved my problem with my tripod. Got me a Manfrotto be free. We're going to see how that goes. I'm only going to do an evaluation of it. I'm going to use it some, see how it turns out. I also got this really interesting vintage Yashica camera. And I'm going to do a, a full video on this little guy once I get done taking a roll of film with it. I'm going to develop that roll of film so I can have some of the shots to embed in the video. So far, I'm better than halfway through this roll. I really like this old camera. It's a lot of fun. I've got several ideas that I'm working on. I've got them all wrote down in my handy notebook of things you don't ever forget. Today's tech tip is a list. I have a lot of reviews coming up that I wanna, I wanna give to you guys. Some lenses and flash modules. I've got a pseudo -to tutorial. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I have a sort of a tutorial I wanna do where um, I take a senior portrait. I wanna take you guys along with me on that so you can kinda of see how I shoot a senior portrait, for instance. I went back through my channel and my one of my Nikon D850 videos is actually the one that has the most views. And I've looked at the D850 extensively. It's a great camera, but I still just can't bring myself to buy it for those huge image files. Yeah, there's a lot of data there and you can get really good images and you can crop to your heart's content, but you can just as easily just walk closer to your subject most of the time. There's times when you can't get closer to your subject and cropping is really handy. You know, if you're shooting across a river to the other shore, I mean, you don't have a boat, you can't walk closer, you know. So, I sacrifice those shots. But I can't see the price tag just for the little two or three percent of the time that the cropping would genuinely help me. But, it, that it brings that the D810 that I have doesn't. So it still hasn't convinced me that it's, you know, somebody brought up the other day that the in-body, what was it called? In-body image stacking long exposure mode, where it takes a bunch of pictures and forms them into a time-lapse video, I think. And it puts them together in the camera. It's not that hard to drop them in an iMovie or you know, Premiere or DaVinci or whatever and make it into a movie, it's pretty easy. You just pick all the pictures. It's a movie. <laughs> You're gonna have to take the movie out of the camera and put it in your computer anyway. Really don't see where that's a selling point worth $3,300. So, if y'all have an opinion on, you know, what features the D850 genuinely bring to the table, I'd like to hear them. It's actually, you know, it's a great camera. Don't get me wrong, it's an awesome camera. It's just doesn't, it doesn't outweigh the current camera I have to the point of making me choose a different one. That's all. If it was creating world changing images, it, I'd see it different, but I haven't seen pictures off of one yet that weren't able to be captured with a D810. Facts are facts. I mean, they're, they're great images, but portraits have been being made for ever since there's been cameras and people have been perfectly happy with them. So, you know, teach his own. So with that, I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to go dig up something to eat right quick. And we'll see y'all next time. Don't forget, if you like the channel, subscribe. I appreciate it. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Get that. There's that glory. Yeah, get rid of that. There it is. All of its glory. All right. Yeah, who needs that? Now, all right. Let's get this bad boy underway. Let's see how this works.